Hi guys, in today's video, I'll be teaching you how to add special cosmetics and stuff that only certain people can access to your Gorilla Tag Fan game. Now, before I start the video, I just want to say, if you have any questions, maybe something doesn't work for you, please join my Discord server link in the description. The script for this will also be in my Discord server link in the description, so you need to join that in order to get the script for this video. I just want to give a huge shout out to, I'm sorry if I'm saying this wrong, Dojoy the developer. I found the script from him. I forgot who made the original script, but this is a slightly modified version of the script, and there's different parts of the script, so this is only one part of the script the other parts of the script are other things like currency and stuff so i'll make sure to make videos on that too once again it doesn't need to be moderator cosmetics it could be any special cosmetics an owner badge something like that so anyways like and subscribe let's get straight into the video so first what you want to do you're going to go to my discord server it's again link in the description scroll down a bit in the channels and go to the channel that says playfab login it'll have a playfab login script what you want to do go to scripts and just get the file and drag it in here pretty simple so once you drag the script you'll have it in your project you might get some warnings here these are just warnings they're not errors a lot of people keep telling me to fix this these are warnings they don't need to be fixed so now what you want to do make sure you follow my previous playfab tutorial the link to that will be in the description of this video you should have a playfab manager thing like this you just want to drag the playfab login script on there now we're going to go to playfab which is also linked in the description go to the playfab studio thing that you made in the last video if you didn't once again follow my previous tutorial you should have one of these so now what you want to do on the left side here go to where it says economy and here in catalogs legacy you need to create a new catalog make sure it's the legacy catalog not the updated one and then for a catalog version just name it whatever you want i'm just gonna call it items it doesn't really matter you can name it mod items but name it something really generic like items and then click save catalog make sure not to delete this it's important then just click new item and you'll be on this page now as an example i'm just gonna make an owner badge or something so item id just call it owner badge copy that put it in item class and display name and make sure you don't change anything else so the only things that should be filled out is item id item class and display name and they should all be the same just owner badge or whatever you want to name it then click save item and there we go now we have the owner badge here now you want to go back into your project and you want to actually make the cosmetic so pretty much how this is going to work in special items you're going to drag in a thing here so what you need to do you need to make an enable and disable thing for the cosmetic so i'm just going to borrow this from what i previously did if you haven't followed my Photon VR cosmetic tutorial, you should probably watch that. Or if you have your own cosmetic system, it's fine. Just duplicate, you know, a cosmetic thing to enable and disable. I'm actually also just going to make an empty game object and call it Owner Badge. And I'm going to drag these under. So make sure all the enabled stuff are under it. And make sure this is the exact same name as what you named it in Playfab. So in this case, Owner Badge, exactly the same as in Playfab. Okay, now you just got to do this. So on these, I'm going to remove the change head cosmetic script because it's not going to be a head cosmetic. If it's an Owner Badge, it's probably going to be a body cosmetic. So I'll do change, change body cosmetic isn't there. So what you want to do, it's kind of annoying, but in the Photon VR tutorial, the package doesn't come with a body cosmetic script so you gotta just duplicate one of these like change something cosmetic rename it to change body cosmetic exactly spelled like this go into it and then when you're in it so this change left cosmetic name it to change body cosmetic the string should be body and then set cosmetic and then it where it says left hand just call that body and then here just name that body and then just click the save up here and you can next out of that i'm not going to put that script in the description because it's pretty basic now you have a change body scripts now in the enable and disable i'm just going to add the change body scripts and then i'm assuming that the name is going to be owner badge exactly like that just make it simple make everything to do with the cosmetic or the thing exactly the same so i made the playfab thing owner badge this needs to be the same thing so that's owner badge and then i'm also just gonna call the cosmetic owner badge this will all make a lot more sense if you watch my cosmetic tutorial but just follow along so now we're gonna have a cosmetic called owner badge and it's gonna be in body so go to resources here go to photon vr and go to player and here we go so this is our player you need to be following my photon vr tutorial which will be linked in the description along with a cosmetic tutorial and then here you need to make a cosmetic if you don't already have one i'm just gonna you know quickly make one
Make sure to position the owner badge wherever you want it to be or whatever cosmetic. It doesn't need to be specific for me. I'm just going to put it there for now. It doesn't really matter. And then like any other cosmetic, disable it in here and then go out of here. And the enable and disable will do the owner badge. Make sure it's the same name. Now to sync everything up, go back to your PlayFab Manager game object here. And in special items, drag in this owner badge here. There we go. And this owner badge thing just disable it so pretty much if you're a normal person it won't show up but if you're the owner then it will show up and you can wear it and stuff and it will all be networked and now to actually give the player the item go back to your playfab go to players click search go to your playfab id and then go to where it says inventory legacy and then here it says from catalog just click this make sure it's your catalog and then click select item don't do item id do select item and then click on owner badge or whatever you called it and then click grant item now one thing that i forgot to do where it says catalog name here make sure to type in your catalog name so i typed in items because that's my catalog name one thing that i also forgot to do the photon vr player prefab i forgot to drag owner badge under body cosmetics so make sure you do that and drag it under the right place unlike me make sure to save all of this and now we can test it out as we can see it's disabled right now we load in and owner badge is now enabled automatically and there we go i already clicked the enable button and as you can see it is enabled and it works perfectly fine you shouldn't get any errors with the script the script should be perfectly fine and yeah next video i'll probably teach you how to do currency or something but anyways thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and subscribe it helps me out so much you don't even understand once again the script for this will be my discord server link in the description also make sure you follow the photon vr tutorial that i made link in the description my cosmetic tutorial will also be linked in the description of this video also join my discord server if you just want to be part of my awesome community or if you need any help or anything it's a great server to be in consider becoming a channel member to get so many awesome perks it's only two dollars a month and one of the things that you get is a shout out at the end of every single video i make just like the people on the screen right now so please like and subscribe i'm trying to hit 10k and we're so close we're less than 2,000 away any support helps also i just want to say sorry for the lack of uploads i've been on vacation because you know it's summer now i'm gonna spend the rest of the summer trying to upload as much as i can and please comment down below what tutorials you want to see because chances are i can make a video on them i'm so close to 10k i might do a q a a at 10k so do my discord server for that because you can probably ask questions there but that's only once we hit 10k so we got to get there first thank you guys so much for watching and that's it for me today peace don't mind this extra part i'm trying to get the video to eight minutes long and boost the revenue there can be ads meaning maybe i could do a game jam for a prize hey comment down below if you want that where you guys have a certain amount of time to make a game with a certain topic and the winner could get a prize hey i don't know maybe that's a good idea i think the video might be at eight minutes now maybe not but yeah once again thank you so much for watching thank you so much for all the support and yeah peace